Welcome to my Extreme One Chunk Iron Man series. If you haven't heard of an Extreme One Chunk account before, it's where you must complete everything you can do within a single game tile or chunk of the RuneScape map. And then after you complete everything in that chunk, you can randomly roll a chunk adjacent to it that you can walk to. The rules of an Extreme One Chunker are as follows. Obtain all unique monster drops and unique items within reason as it would be pointless to spend ages on a 1 in 1 million drop. Complete all the highest skill challenges. Complete quests and diaries as much as you can. Complete everything from minigames. And pretty much just do everything. For my account, I decided to drop all my starting items. I will not be able to train woodcutting until I can get an axe, which means I cannot train fletching. Making it so I can't train range at first. Basically, I'm just a melee account. Oh yeah, I never introduced myself. Hey, my name's Too High. I've watched many different One Chunk account series, my first being Limpward's Extreme One Chunk series starting in Lumbridge, and more recently Verf's Extreme One Chunk series starting in Karend. Ever since the first time I saw Limpward's series, all I could think about was doing a chunk account of my own. But where to start? My main goal was to first have a bank in the chunk, as I love hoarding items for later. And secondly, I want some sort of extra challenge, for example, skill capes nearby. With those in mind, I decided I would start in Birthorp. Not only is Birthorp home to the Rogue's Den, which has the Thieving Cape, but right next to it are the Strength, Attack, and Herblor Capes. So Tasks in the starting chunk will seem a bit limited, but as we expand to other chunks, many, many more will open up. These tasks are mainly all best in slot tasks and the staffs to equip them. I'll list them here for you. I have to obtain and equip the following, a bronze medium helm, an iron dagger, a mithril plate body and mithril full helm, a black claws, and a mithril warhammer. I must also obtain the Slayer task and complete as much of Death Plateau as possible. Uh, by now you might be asking, but wait, didn't you say there was a thieving cape in the chunk? Shouldn't you have to thieve off men until you can get that? Well, I also thought that very same thing. Imagine my surprise to find out there are actually no NPCs you can pickpocket in Birthorp. So the thieving grind will have to wait until future chunks allow me to actually train it. As for magic, that is locked until I get a task that requires it. For example, if I get an ore I have the smithing level 4, then I have to get superheat item. Or if I get a diamond ring from say a bird's nest when I start woodcutting, then I have to get level 4 enchant. I've never made a video before, this is my first. On the advice of Verf, I was in his chat talking about making a one chunk account. And he suggested, well, I may as well make a video about it. So, here we are. So I'm going to start off by going down to these target dummies over here. I can get up to level 8 attack off these. And there's level 8 attack. I've been thinking about it. Maybe dropping my starter items was a mistake. So now I might have to lamp ranged instead of starting to lamp agility right away. So that kind of sucks. And level 8 strength coming in. And with that, our first prayer level. Level 2 prayer. Oh, we got it. The iron dagger. This should give me an extra max hit, and it's more accurate than kicking. Not to mention, it's also technically my best in slot magic weapon in this chunk. Now the only drop I really have left to get off of the villagers is the bronze medium helm. Yep. Okay, now, max a three. Forgot to record this, but I got the bronze medium helm, so that's all the drops done that I need from these guys. Now I just have to get drops from the guards and the soldiers to complete the jump. I'm so excited to be playing this one chunk account. I'm 
still playing Shattered Relic League on the side. So once that's over, I'll definitely be focused way more on this account. I can't recommend enough checking out both Limports and Verf series. I wouldn't even be thinking about making an account like this without them, so uh, I did put their links down in the description. Like I said in the beginning, this is the first ever video I've made, so I would definitely appreciate any feedback. Alright, that's 10 defense. Hopefully enough so we don't need to die as often. Well, we just got the first clue scroll on the account. Let's see if we have a birth orb step. I could die and technically do this, but no, that's not in my chunk, so we'll just drop it. What? Seven prayer coming in. Back to the grind. Did you ever wonder just how you got here? And where you'll end up when you die? So I can't really decide whether I want to play on fixed or on resizable. So sorry if there's a little inconsistency there, but uh, fixed is nice because I can do things on my other account easier on the same screen. Whereas with resizable, I like to play on full screen. Ooh, 17 hit points. Getting up there. And 20 strength. We can now wield a Mithril Warhammer if we want to try to get one from the guards. I doubt we can do that at these stats. Uh, so we're just going to keep grinding here. Probably around 35 strength and 20 attack. We'll go try to kill some guards, but... Uh, yeah, we'll be flinching them, so defense doesn't matter. We'll definitely uh, give it a try around at least 20 attack so we can actually hit them. I should have named this account Drunk Chunk because all I do is drink beer to heal. <laughs> Would have been way more fitting. All right, 25 strength. Been waiting for this level. Now I can switch to stab and still max a four. So now we can go for, I'm gonna go for around 20 attack and see if I can hit the guards. This should be the last bit. Now we have 20 attack. So now we can see if we can actually hit a guard. I was actually hoping that would kill me. Okay, so I want to suicide first to get full health. So I'll wait for this to respawn. And then uh, we'll teleport back and see if we can actually flinch a guard. It just feels so cold here. Every time I come back. It's just so cold. We're back. Alright, let's see if we can actually land a hit on these guards. Oh wait. Duh, I need my stuff. Ow. Oh. Grab the stuff. Can't forget to loot my own bones. That's free prayer XP. Oh, I'm liking my odds already. Oh, a little too early. Alright. Well, I'll be back if I get a drop 
Oh, well, that didn't work out. Um, yeah. The, the door shut before I could kill the guard. I tried to find a different spot. It did not work out. So... Uh, now we have to wait nine and a half minutes before we can teleport back. So, yeah, we'll just uh, cry a little. I'm going to train to 35 strength and at least 25 attack before I try that again. Back to just killing the villagers. Yay. So I figured oh, I could just use this outside wall to flinch the guards. So I don't have to worry about the door closing. I'm not going to wait until I get more attack levels. I got 32 strength so I can max a 5 on aggressive. So we're just going to flinch and hope we get lucky on a Warhammer. And the first guard kill was coins. Alright, that took like 10 minutes to flinch. So I am going to go get some attack levels first. So I'm up to 26 attack now. 33 strength. So I'm going to try this again for a little bit. Maybe get up to oh, 10 kills, see if I get lucky. And if not, I will go back to killing the villagers. Number four. I don't know how long this Warhammer is going to take me, but I'm just going to sit here and flinch these guys until I at least one of the drops I need off of them. I am hoping to get the Warhammer first though, because then I can move on to the soldiers and get a better training weapon. Oh my god, I got it! Yes! Best in slot, flinching weapon in the chunk. Nice. Might be my best training weapon. I'll have to test that out. 25 crush bonus. That's what I like to see. Compared to 5 stab. That's going to be nice. Ooh, the first genie on the account. So, I'm not sure which I want a lamp. I do need a range so that I can actually train range. Or, I was thinking agility. Level 20 prayer coming in. After flinching a few more with my Mithril Warhammer, I decided that I'm going to train my stats up some more off the villagers. Uh, so far, we're up to 37 strength, 33 attack. My goal is going to be 38 strength so that I can hit a 7 with the Warhammer on accurate. And then I'm going to train my attack to maybe even 40. Uh, I was testing flinching on both the soldiers and the guards, and I wasn't hitting that often. So I want to up my attack a little bit and then get that extra max while I'm on accurate. So I get that invisible plus three also for accuracy. I got 35 attack and 38 strength, and now I'm going to try to flinch these soldiers to get a better weapon to train with. Uh, I might try to flinch some guards, but 
that remains to be seen. They have slightly higher defenses than these soldiers do. Even though these soldiers are higher level. So I will try the guards after I do a few soldiers and see if we get lucky. Just got some steel claws. So new best in slot training weapon. I'm still going to flinch a few more soldiers and hope for some black claws. But... I'll give it maybe like 10 more soldiers and then I'm going to switch to some guards and try to get some armor and work towards finishing off the chunk. Oh, no way. I, I, I switched over to guards for one kill and I got a mithril plate body. Well, I'm going to go train some defense now so I can wear it. I think I'm the first person to ever actually train with steel claws in this game. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone train with steel claws before. <laughs> I was looking at my log and I got that plate body two kills after that Warhammer. So that's pretty lucky. Uh, and 20 defense coming in, we can now wear the best in slot armor in the chunk. Oh, I just got some black claws. And my first evil Bob random. Nice. Ah, but it's the wrong one. Now look at those stats. Not only do they give me better offensive stats than the Iron Dagger I was using to train, but they give me more defense stats than my Bronze Medium Helm does. Except for range, of course. They're definitely the best in slot training weapon I have right now. Now that I got the best in slot training weapon in this chunk, I really only have one other item to get, and that's the Mithril Full Helm. Which is a 1 and 1, 2, 8 off the guards. So I'm just going to sit here and train for a bit. And every once in a while I'll go kill some guards. Just to do something different. This account is going to be combat only for quite a while. I just got it. I just got the mithril full home. Holy. I got that so fast in 36 KC. We're done. We're done with all the items in the chunk. Well, the last thing to do in the chunk is just to start the Death Plateau quest. I mean, we can't go very far in it. We're basically just starting it and doing the first step. Alright, so that's all the steps I can do of Death Plateau done. So let's uh, roll a chunk and see what we get. Thanks to the guys at Chunk Picker V2, they have a new feature that is a fancy roll. So let's see what that looks like. Ooh. What's it gonna be? Oh, Warriors Guild. Well, now we have to grind until we can enter. And that's our new chunk. So now that I've unlocked the Warrior's Guild chunk, let's go over the tasks I'll have to complete. This chunk will take much longer to complete compared to the first one. Uh, the major tasks are going to be obtaining the attack cape and obtaining the strength cape. Other tasks along the way to getting those done will include obtaining and equipping the following. A rune full helm. An adamant mace. Mithril plate legs. A dragon defender. A rune medium helm for when we have range unlocked. A steel chain body, technically my best in slot range top in these chunks. And an adamant square shield. I'll also need to obtain a long bone and a curved bone, but that shouldn't be a problem when grinding 299s on Cyclops. Now that we got the easy beginner chunk out of the way, we have to grind the ability to enter the warrior's guild. So buckle up, this is going to be a long ride. By the time I get in there, I will have my protection prayers. I'm 26 prayer right now. 
Uh, getting 65-65, I will definitely get 43 prayer by that point off these normal bones. I have about mm, a little under 20,000 of these guys to kill, so here we go. Ooh, my first maze random. Heck yeah, let's see what we get. Sure, I like exploring a maze. Alright, let's go. Seventy-four percent reward, not bad. Let's see what we end up with. Iron arrows, feathers, and steel arrows. Alright. Well, if we ever lamp our range up to ten, these might actually come in handy. Just missed the level up, but uh, that's 50 strength coming in and 200 total level. Nice. Just uh, about a quarter of the way to 65. So let's get it. Oh, and 31 prayer coming in. We now have ultimate strength. Yeah, now we can... Uh, Maybe max an eight with these claws. Nice, my first Bob random. We can get some fishing XP. Let's do it. All right, and the random's done. Let's see what we get for fishing XP. Level seven fishing, nice. Oh, my first tutor. Oh, I'm so excited to get this, actually. I can't wait to have my range levels up. Yeah, I want to take a test. I fancy that exam. Let's do it. There we go, and let's put that on range. 15 range XP. Only 36 to go, and our lamping will go a little faster. Oh, nice, the second tutor in the same day? Oh, it's my lucky day. Heck yeah. All right, and let's put that into range. Another 15 XP, so we're 21 away, so getting getting close now. If anyone's wondering, I did get a Slayer task. I got goblins. I just forgot to record it, so just to show you, I have 21 goblins to kill if I can ever get to a chunk that has them. Oh, nice, another exam. This puts me one... XP random away from level 2 range. Nice. I'm only 6 experience away from level 2 range, then the lamping is going to get a lot faster. I've been using this add on to track random events. It's actually pretty crazy how lucky I've been with these XP randoms. 3 dunce. Look at that. That's just crazy. And the last XP random we need. The last XP random for my first range level, anyway. It's only been... Six hours since the last dunce. So let's put this into range. And level two range. We can now lamp faster. 50 attack, now I'm gonna switch to strength. And I'm going to train strength to probably about 62. Uh, the reason I got 50 attack is so I can hopefully train on the archers up here. Once I hit 40 prayer. I wanted to be able to hit them a little more consistently. Just got 37 prayer. We can now use protection from magic. There's actually nothing in this chunk that uses magic so this is basically useless for me right now uh, as we go to later chunks it'll definitely come in handy though 
I'm mainly aiming for protection from missiles. I need three more prayer levels so I can kill those archers. And the real goal, of course, is getting protection from melee for when we get inside the Warriors Guild. Oh wow, I came and killed one archer just to see if I could without flinching, and I got my green dehyde chaps. Now that I got the green dehyde chaps, it just really motivates me to play this account as much as possible so that I can get more XP randoms, so that I can level my ranged up and actually wear these. And it's time. 40 prayer. Now I can go train on the archers. I'm hoping it's going to be more XP per hour than killing these two. Oh wow, I didn't even realize I got the maple shortbow two kills ago. Holy crap, that's every single drop from every mob in this chunk done, even the ones I don't have the requirements for. I technically didn't need to get this in order to roll a chunk because I couldn't train my range without lamping it. So I guess now when I lamp my range, I have all the required items already done. I'll just stick to the villagers. Uh, killing the archers was just too inaccurate. I hit too many zeros. So I think this will just be better XP per hour regardless. Just because I don't hit as many zeros here. And another dunce. Nice. Alright. Got the book. Let's go ahead and put that into range. 45 range XP lamps. Going real fast now. 54 XP for level 4. I finished the full mime outfit, so I decided to kill the villagers in fashion. Oh, I just got 43 prayer. I wasn't even paying attention. Nice. Now we can go train on the soldiers. Can set up my quick prayers. And we can go kill the soldiers. Get some... Hopefully faster experience. Ah, oh, this is so much better. It's just such faster experience because I don't have to... One, wait for spawns, and I don't have to run around trying to catch up to the villagers when they move around, so... Even though my accuracy is less, the experience per hour is definitely more, so... Should take a lot less time now to hit 65, 65. I decided to switch back to my mithril just so that when I mess up prayer flicks, I don't get hit as often. Uh, so far, it's going pretty good. We're up to 57 attack, 62 strength, and going strong. Hopefully get there soon and get in that warrior's guild Ooh, another dunce random done and put that into range and level four range nice Ooh, 60 attack coming in big milestone there can now equip dragon weaponry although we won't be getting any anytime soon all right just got it Another dunce random. Let's go ahead and put this into range. And level 5 range. Hell yeah. Can now wield oak short bows and wield steel throwing weapons. Unfortunately, I only have black throwing weapons, so I need 10 range. But getting up there. Should go much faster now. Oh, my dunce RNG is just unreal. Holy crap! I, I don't even have words for how lucky I'm getting on these XP randoms. Alright, throw this into range. I'm level 6 range already. I just hit level 5 last dunce random. Crazy. Crazy. And another evil Bob random dot. And 13 fishing. Nice. 
without ever actually fishing. All right, 65 attack. We can now focus on getting 65 strength. Uh, the reason I got 65 attack first is because getting 65 strength doesn't actually give me a max hit. So it was just more worth it to get that extra accuracy. So yeah, we're almost in the Warriors Guild, getting close. 45 prayer coming in really the last useful prayer level until i i guess 49 for redemption but we have mystic might now so that's basically all the prayers we'll be able to use for quite a while oh, i forgot to record it but i just got 63 strength oh, and there's 60 hit points getting strong now very soon we'll be in the Warriors Guild. And the time has come. Here we go. And 65 strength. We can now enter the Warriors Guild. So before we go in, I'm going to go ahead and show you my bank. And see what we've gotten from the villagers and the soldiers and the guards to get to this point. So here's the bank so far. I've got about 70k coins. Uh, got some runes. Most of these came from the villagers. Uh, the natures and the laws came from randoms. Got lots of stuff to train range once we lamp it to 10. Uh, these black darts only drop from the soldiers. And they're actually worth quite a bit. This fluctuates between 1,000 and 3,000 GP each because the soldiers are the only source of these in the entire game. So that's just an interesting thing. Uh, let's see, here's my equipment tab. Nothing too special. We're waiting on 40 range to wear the dehyde chaps. And we need 30 range for the maple shortbow. Uh... These strength potions all came from Jekyll randoms. I used them all because now I'll be able to buy them in the Warriors Guild. Here's all the herbs we've accumulated. I'm up to 218 Raynar. Uh, yeah, we've got gems going all from random events. A few from the soldiers. They do have the gem drop table. So these uncuts, most of them are from the soldiers. Except the diamonds. Those are all from random events. We didn't, we didn't get any diamonds from soldiers. Uh, here's all my random event items. Got the full mime, full beekeeper, uh, full camo, and the full lederhosen outfit. Uh, this is not a stale baguette. It's a normal baguette. These are all the food items I've gotten from the sandwich lady. I don't know why I kept them. I just felt like collecting weird things. Uh, speaking of weird things, th these cabbages are a 1 in 1, 2, 8 drop off the villagers. I just figured I'd collect them just to see how many I'd end up with. And we got 80 of them, which I think is a little above drop rate, actually. But yeah, so that's the bank so far. Uh, these are quest items. Got the climbing boots. I'm waiting to be able to get bread so that I can actually move to the next step of the quest for Death Plateau. And I just put this beginner clue scroll in here just to make sure I didn't get beginner clues anymore. And here's my music list. Uh, just so you know, I'm not cheating. I'll just uh, scroll through it quick. I did do every random event available to me, so I did end up getting the music tracks from the Pillory Guard. Uh, I didn't have music set on Classic, so I might have gotten a couple extra tracks unlocked doing that. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember. That was like day one. But let me just go through this a little faster. There's a lot of music tracks in this game. But you can see I've only unlocked 40 tracks. Most of them are random event tracks. 
I haven't unlocked any tracks of the neighboring areas to this chunk. I've only gone from dying in Lumbridge and spawning in Lumbridge to teleporting directly to the game's room. And here we are at the Warriors Guild. Let's go ahead and walk on through the door for the first time. Hope you enjoyed the journey so far. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comments. Uh, like it if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see the next one.